In one of the recent streams, I talked about using Transporter Ace and the LBV in stealth when some viewers mentioned that Anarchist is faster than Yakuza. And I'm like, that's not right. So we did some investigation and some myth busting which results in today's video. Spoiler alert, it's not true. Anarchist is not faster than Yakuza. Let's see some proof. How do we exactly determine that? We can actually calculate all of this in a spreadsheet, but it requires intimate knowledge of how the game works like the movement speed, loot bags, and perk decks. It is a method that is very prone to human error. So instead, what I did is to write a mod to output the carry speed. This way, all I have to do is to make a build, carry a bag, and just walk. Now that we have the tools, it's time to create the test scenarios. So the first thing we definitely want to look at is the various type of bags. Light bags like coke and money bags. Uh, this is basically our walk speed. Then heavy bags, usually weapons and gold, but also body bags. And very heavy, which everyone knows as shadow raid artifacts. So what kind of skills are we looking at? Uh, well, we'll definitely want parkour basic. That is the very minimum that we'll need. Then transporter ace which is the main focus of this video. The amount of reduction is dependent on the equipped armor's base value plus any additive bonus like Die Hard Ace, the Protector Crew Boost and the Anarchist deck. Multipliers like Iron Man Basic and the Armor Perk deck do not apply. Then the last skill is Inner Pocket Ace, which is used to reduce or offset any consumer loss from using Ballistic Vests. Then Crew Boosts. The protector boost is pretty simple, it adds 30 armor. Then reinforcer, light protector, but health. Uh, this would be an additional boost for Anarchist. Invigorator, which reduces armor speed penalty, but only applicable to the HBV or heavier. It also increases our stamina, but it's not important for this test. Then concealer, to further offset any consumer loss. But I'll just be upfront. Uh, there's no real need for Invigorator and Concealer because the Ballistic Vest and Heavy Ballistic Vest is bad, which we'll see in the results later. Then Perk Decks and Armor Combos. First, we'll have any deck in suit with only the Parkour skill. Uh, this is basically the Burglar and Hacker deck and is used as a baseline for comparison. Then we have any deck from the suit to the Heavy Ballistic Vest with all the buffs. Then similarly, we'll have Anarchist from Suit to HBV with all the buffs. And lastly, Yakuza Suit to HBV with all the buffs but we'll have two types. We'll have the 30% health Berserker Frenzy for 20 skill points more, just in case uh, some players don't own the barbecue pack. Then we have the 0% health or as close as possible using Molotovs. Now that we have the test scenarios ready, all that's left is to record the data and compare the results, which is what we have here. The numbers here are actually the same as the inventory but just 10 times and includes the now hidden Shinobi basic skill from the old skill trees, which gives us a 25% boost to our move speed. It's hard to really compare this, so let's look at percentages instead. Okay, the first thing we'll see here is that Ballistic Vest and Heavy Ballistic Vest gets worse in every scenario. So let's just take them out. Looking at any deck in suit, with Transporter Ace and the Protector Boost, we'll see a pure improvement of 5.1% speed. Even without Protector, like in multiplayer, there is still a 2% gain. Then with the LBV, there's a slight base speed loss but a noticeable gain of 8.5% with the Protector Boost or 5.2% without the Protector Boost. Then the Anarchist in suit. It has a nice 24.5% boost when carrying heavy or very heavy bags. Then with the LBV, we have the same 1.8% loss but an increase to the carrying speed to 28.5%. Okay, right now, Anarchist is definitely better than any deck. But is it better than Yakuza as claimed? First, we'll take a look at Yakuza with Berserker Frenzy, or 30%. Just with the suit and parkour basic, we'll have a 14% increase across the board. Adding in Transporter and Protector increases the carry speed to 19.8%. Switching to LBV, there is a slight walk speed loss, 
but a further increase to the carry speed to 23.7. Well, this is not faster than Anarchis, but we're still not done yet. With the 0% Yakuza, with just suit and parkour basic, will be a flat 20% increase across the board. Add in transporter and protector, and the carry speed goes up to 26.1. Then the same thing again in LBV, but the 30.2 carry speed is definitely more than Anarchist. But wait, is 0% health achievable? I'm not sure, but with one Molotov, I was able to get my health down to 4.3%, resulting in a final carry speed of 29.2, which is still faster than Anarchist. So the conclusion is, don't believe the hype. Anarchist is in no way faster than Yakuza. Even if I only have the Yakuza deck without Molotovs, I wouldn't trade away the 12% move speed for a small 4% gain, which is only applicable to carrying heavy bags. Then in the any category or basically burglar or hacker, we'll still see decent gains by spending as little as 4 skill points with the suit and 14 points with the LBV. In short, for any stealth setup, always use transporter ace and the protector boost if we have the AI. Okay, this is all we have. Uh, do give it a try, especially the LBV build, but don't blame me if you get kicked from pubs. Otherwise, not much. Um, just gonna have a few charts and a clip of me getting Yakuza down to 4.3% health with the Molotov. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Anybody got a mini fat to share?